Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video, I'll be discussing the CONCACAF final between the US women's national team and Canada's women's national team. It's time for a rematch. Will the US redeem themselves with a win against Canada? Or will Canada come out on top again? We'll find out in this CONCACAF final after dark. Yes, this is a women's soccer after dark episode. And as you know by now, the weirdest shit always happens in these after dark games. I think something weird is going to happen in this match. I could feel it in the air or something. <laughs> anyway, the US women's national team versus Canada. Honestly, this isn't going to be an easy one. Canada has proven they are a tough team and not one that you can take lightly. They are going to put up a fight against the U.S. They're going to fight for possession. They're going to put the U.S. back line under pressure. And they're not afraid to get physical or aggressive with the U.S. team. If the U.S. wants to win this final against Canada, they have to play better than their previous CONCACAF matches. I mean, that's just a given. <laughs> they have to be aggressive. They have to maintain possession, fight for possession. Put pressure on Canada, control the midfield, support one another in the attack. Finishing especially needs to be solid. Chemistry and communication have to be solid as well. But given the U.S.'s previous CONCACAF matches, I don't have much hope for the U.S.'s chemistry and communication. That is still something they need to work on and improve. If they do it in this match, great. If not, oh boy. Defense is also going to be essential in this match. This is where the U.S. back line is really going to get put to the test. Canada is an attacking team with good attacking players. And it's going to be interesting to see how the back line will hold up against Canada. U.S. defenders need to mark players, read passes, and make sure their clearances are quick. No hesitation at all, just get it out of the box. At the same time, the communication between the keeper and the back line needs to be on the same page. That all being said, let's get into the lineup. All right, so the lineup. 4-3-3, we got Alyssa Nair in the goal. For defenders, we got Alana Cook, Becky Sabron, Sofia Huerta, and Emily Fox. In the midfield, we got Lindsay Horan, Andy Sullivan, and Rose Lavelle. And for forwards, Alex Morgan, Mal Pugh, and Sophia Smith. And here are the available subs for tonight as well. Honestly, I can't wait till this is all over and Lindsay Horan and Andy Salvin, they can get some much needed R&R. Horan &R. and Salvin have started in all these CONCACAF matches and a lot of fans and myself are especially worried about Horan's knee. We have Christy Mewis and Ashley Sanchez on the bench but I'm getting Vlaco is trying to play it safe by having Horan and Sullivan on instead. I'm a little surprised that Vlaco is bringing on Emily Fox, though. Fox was out due to COVID protocol, but I'm not entirely sure if she had symptoms. I think I would have gone with Kelly O'Hara or Naomi Gurma just to be safe and then maybe save and then maybe bring on Fox in the second half. On the upside... Fox is a solid defender and she will definitely be needed tonight in the back line. This is a match where everyone in the defense, actually everyone on the team, needs to step up. The forwards look good, but we got to finish and score some goals. I want this team to do one thing, and that is to put the ball into the goal. Not to the keeper, not out wide, not out of play, but into the goal. And for the love of God, keep it on sides. It's game time. Let's get into the first half. We are off U.S. quick and early attack. Ball sent into the Canada box for Haran B into it by Canada. One minute. Mal in the box with the ball. Mal cross blocked by Sheridan. Two minutes. U.S. corner kick. Lavelle takes it. Kicked away. Smith cross goes wide. So a good start from the U.S. Very aggressive. Very quick. I like it. Let's keep it up. Boston into the Canada box, kicked away by Sheridan. Boston into the U.S. box, Sinclair chasing, kicked away by Nair. Boston in again, kicked away by Nair, again. Three minutes, Boston towards the Canada box, Morgan chasing, kicked away. Smith in the Canada box with the ball, off to Mal, off to Morgan. Morgan attempt goes wide. Yep, bad finishing. It begins. 
Four minutes ball sent towards the U.S. box, defended away. Malcross kicked away. Haran and Lavelle attempts both are blocked. Huerta sends it in, saved by Sheridan. On the upside, it's very quick attacking from the U.S. Five minutes Canada, Prince attempts, saved by Nair. Six minutes Prince attempts, saved by Nair again. Huerta do better at marking her. Seven minutes Canada, combination play goes out of play. That was kind of cool. I'm, I'll give them that. That was a, that was a cool play. Eight minutes, boss sent towards the U.S. box. Good 1v1 by Huerta and some good defending by Sophia Smith. Ten minutes, U.S. corner kick. Lavelle takes it, headed away. Huerta, who were you passing to? She just passed it right back to Canada for some reason. Eleven minutes, ball sent into the Canada box. Kicked away. Good pressure by Morgan. Thirteen minutes, Huerta cross. What are you guys doing? Like, how did no one get on that? Haran attempt goes wide. 14 minutes, Mal fouls and goes down. Trainer's coming out to check on her ankle. She's getting it taped up. 15 minutes, game starts up again. Mal back in. 16 minutes, Prince gets away from Huerta and Smith. Prince attempt, say by Nair. Huerta, you got to be quicker and more alert than that. You got to mark Prince better. <laughs> 17 minutes, Canada corner kick punched away by Nair. That was a really good punch, too. <laughs> 18 minutes, Canada Becky attempt rolls to Nair. Morgan cross to Smith, goes out of play. Yeah, some miscommunication there. Smith not sure if she should go for it. She may have thought she would have been offsides. Mal does come back in. 19 minutes, Canada Fleming attempt from distance goes over. Huerta, you got to relax, but also get <laughs> do better at defending. 21 minutes, ball sent towards the U.S. box, kicked away by Nair. 22 minutes, Morgan Cross, U.S. players can't get on it. Punched away by Sheridan, goes wide. Haran and Quinn, 1v1, Quinn wins it. Yeah, I can't wait till Quinn comes back to OL Reign. <laughs> 23 minutes, Smith goes down, no foul. 24 minutes, Canada foul for holding U.S. ball. 25 minutes, Smith attempt goes wide. Again, it's our finishing. 26 minutes, ball sent towards the U.S. box. Sabrin kicks it back to Nair. Oh yeah, times that by two. Um, Nair miss kicks to Huerta, goes out of play. 27 minutes, Canada cross, Haran clears. Quinn cross, headed away. 28 minutes, ball sent towards the U.S. box, headed away by Haran. Our defense looks choppy. 29 minutes, good recovery by Fox and Haran. 30th minute, Mal making a run. Mal attempts Sheridan, reads it all the way, and saves. Um, Fox, why did you play it all the way back to Nair when you got Andy open in the midfield? 33 minutes, Canada player Janine Becky is down. 35 minutes, game starts up again. Huerta sends it in, picked up by Sheridan. 36 minutes, Huerta up for Morgan, defended away. Morgan stays with it. Morgan cross deflected. Morgan says it went out of play off Buchanan. but And from the replay, it did, but there was no corner for the U.S. It should have been a corner off the replay because it did come off, her, off Buchanan last. 38 minutes, Haran making a run, passes to Mal. Mal attempt goes over. Our finishing, yeah. We need to work on that. We had opportunities and chances, but for some reason, we can't put it into the goal. 40th minute, Lavelle cross headed away. Haran yellow card for pulling down Becky soon after. 41 minutes, Lavelle fouled U.S. ball. 42 minutes, Cook sends it in. U.S. can't do anything with it. Cleared. Ball sent towards the Canada box. Sheridan kicks it away. Haran attempt from distance goes wide. 43 minutes, ball in the Canada box, picked up by Sheridan. Ball sent towards the U.S. box. Fox plays it back to Nair. Lots of action in the Canada box. 44 minutes, Huerta cross, Smith can't put it in. Sheridan makes an awkward save. Two minutes of added time. 46 minutes, Mal cross, Lavelle recovers. Lavelle cross cleared. Haran sends it in soon after, kicked away. 47 minutes, Canada Prince making a run. Great defending by Cook and Huerta together, getting the ball away from Prince and kicking it out. Then whistle blown, first half ends, U.S. 
nail nail. Yeah, our finishing or lack thereof is going to be the death of us. We had so many opportunities, chances, and looks, but our finishing is just terrible. That and we can't get past Sheridan. The US is actually playing well in this match. The chemistry and communication is actually there. I haven't seen that much miscommunication from the US team, which is great. This is probably the best the US is playing. They're maintaining possession, they're maintaining possession, fighting to get it back, keeping up the attack, and overall doing pretty well in the attack in midfield. Defense though is a little iffy. Fox is doing well, Sabrin and Cook are doing all right. But Huerta on that left side was struggling to deal with Prince and Lawrence. When Cook and Huerta are are defending together together or doubling up, it's fine. And I think Huerta is used to Cook helping her out in the back line on OL Reign. But when it comes to her doing 1v1s in this match, she needs to do better or needs support from Cook or the other players. Defense looks a little choppy, but they did all right overall in this first half. For the second half, I want to see the U.S. keep up the attack, continue to keep possession, continue being aggressive, and put the ball into the goal. Let's get into the second so half. the second half, we are off 45 minutes, good defending by the U.S. Andy goes down holding our ankle, Sinclair yellow card for the challenge on Andy Sullivan. 47 minutes, ball sent into the box for Smith, collected by Sheridan. 48 minutes, Smith cross kicked away. Beautiful cross, like how did no one get on that? 49 minutes, U.S. corner kick, Lavelle takes it, goes past everyone. 51 minutes, Lavelle attempt blocked and cleared. Morgan attempt cleared. Huerta sends it in, headed away. 52 minutes, Huerta up for Morgan, defended away. Smith cross kicked away. 53 minutes, U.S. offsides, Canada ball. 54 minutes, Canada, Riviere making a run into the U.S. box. Great defending by Fox. Riviere limping and goes down. Trainers out to check on her. She's limping off. Not sure if she's going to come back in. 57 minutes, game starts up again. Riviere is back in. Morgan, 1v1 in the Canada box. Wins it, but kicked it away. 58 minutes, Canada Jeal down after a tackle on Smith. Smith runs over her shoulder, unintentional, but it it happened. Um, trainers out to check on her. Jeal coming off. Riviere is getting subbed off because she can't continue. 60th minute, game starts up again. Ball sent into the Canada box, kicked away. 61 minutes, Huerta miss passes. Huerta making a run, can't keep it in play. 62 minutes, Smith attempt right to Sheridan. Canada is making subs already. Um, Haitama could be coming in. U.S. no subs made. 63 minutes, Morgan plays it up to Smith. Smith making a run, dodges Sheridan. Smith attempt goes wide. Seriously, it was open. How did she miss that? Ball sent in again, Mrs. Smith and Morgan. 65 minutes, U.S. corner kick. Lavelle takes it, goes wide. Smith down, but she is okay. Lavelle attempt right to Sheridan. Easy catch for Sheridan. I don't know why Vlaco is clapping. We're struggling to finish, and Canada is bringing on subs. Like, is he waiting for extra time? Like, does he want this to go into extra time? Does he think Canada will be worn down enough in extra time? 67 minutes, ball crossed into the U.S. box, headed away by Sabrun. 68 minutes, Canada cross saved by Nair. Mal taken down outside the Canada box. At the same time, Morgan down in the Canada box. 69 minutes, U.S. set piece outside the Canada box for the foul on Mal. The foul on Morgan in the box, the ref said no to that. Haran takes the free kick. Haran attempt goes over. 70th minute, Sullivan attempt from distance goes over. 72 minutes, Mal making a run defend away. Lavelle sends it in, headed away, 73 minutes. Morgan held and taken down in the box by Jeal. That, <laughs> that was obvious. <laughs> that was really obvious too, but somehow that's not a foul. 74 minutes, Huerta Cross goes out of play. 75th minute, Lavelle pushed down or tripped up in the box. The ref points to the spot. Penalty kick. 76 minutes, penalty kick for the U.S., Haran to take it. Oh no, 
<laughs> okay, she hands it off to Morgan. Okay, so this is kind of nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. Morgan standing over the ball, and she puts it in. U.S. 1-0. Finally. U.S., you better defend with your lives. Vlaco seriously needs to make subs at this point. Like, what is he waiting for? Canada has so many fresh legs on the field already. Like, is he going to make these players go the full 90? 80th minute, ball sent into the Canada box for a mile, defended away. 81 minutes, ball sent into the U.S. box, Canada temp goes wide. Canadian player Buchanan is down, trainers out to check on her, Buchanan coming off for a bit. 82 minutes, game starts up again. 83 minutes, ball sent into the U.S. box, kicked away. Fleming attempts saved by Nair. 84 minutes, Lavelle sends it into the Canada box, saved by Sheridan. 85 minutes, Mal fouls, Canada ball. If Canada draws, I'm so blaming Vlaco because we need subs. Great defending by Salvin. She clears it. 86 minutes, Canada attempt blocked. Lawrence attempt goes wide. Okay, so there are subs for the U.S. I can, I can kind of see them. But for, for some reason, they're not allowed to check in. 87 minutes, Canada header attempt goes wide. 88 minutes, U.S. substitutions finally. Gurma. Rodman and Purse in, Smith, Mal, and Morgan out. 89 minutes, Canada foul, U.S. ball. Lavelle down, holding the back of her head after a collision with Janine Becky. Five minutes of added time, 91 minutes, Horan plays it up. Fox doesn't go for it. And the stream is stuck and then cuts off. Are you guys serious? This is the CONCACAF championship final. 93 minutes, we're back. U.S. corner kick, Rodman off to Sheridan. Korniak had come on for Lavelle in the 92nd minute. 95 minutes, ball sent into the U.S. box, defended away. Ball sent in again, Cook guides it back to Nair. Canada attempts saved by Nair. Can you guys defend? You have Cook, Werta, Sarbrun, Fox, and Germa on the field. And then 97th minute, whistle blown, second half ends. U.S. wins 1-0. It's so weird how in the Olympic match against Canada, the U.S. lost because of a penalty kick. And now in the 2022 CONCACAF Championship, the U.S. just won because of a penalty kick. It's weird because Canada's PK in the Olympics happened in the 75th minute, and the U.S.'s PK in this match happened in the 78th, but Lavelle was taken down, I think, in the 75th minute. Women's soccer after dark. Shit doesn't get weird. It gets creepy. <laughs> anyway, this was a good match and performance by the U.S., probably one of their better performances in this CONCACAF competition. I thought the chemistry and communication was getting there. The possession was there. Fighting to win back possession was great. Defense needs a lot of touching up, but the finishing, I can't. <laughs> I can't even. The number of opportunities and chances we had in this match were crazy. Why can't this team score goals out of everything? That was the thing that drove me nuts in this match. It's like watching a well rain. And don't get me wrong, I love a well rain, but we need to score goals. The U.S. team, like a well rain, has the players to do so, but it's like we need divine intervention to score goals. Anyway, this was a good match and performance by the U.S. There are, th there are still things the U.S. team needs to work on and improve. But for now, congrats to the U.S. Women's National Team for winning the 2022 CONCACAF Women's Championship. The winner of the CONCACAF Championship also earns direct qualification for the 2024 Paris Olympics. So now the U.S. Women's National Team has officially qualified for the 2023 Women's World Cup and the 2024 Paris Olympics. The team is set to go. It's been fun it's been fun following the US Women's National Team on their CONCACAF journey. Even though CONCACAF has come to an end, international women's soccer is still in full swing with the women's Euro quarterfinal knockouts matches coming up this week. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.